welcome back to my channel and yet another video of the back to basics series if you haven't noticed i've been trying to do this thing where i kind of chop up um kind of like complex makeup lessons um into small little videos i started off with showing you guys how i do my eyebrows and hopefully you got the message of okay this is how to do eyebrows and then i also tackled baking okay how does someone bake their face um if they literally just like a normal person in a nine to five job kind of a thing and not like a runway supermodel. Um, and I think that's also very, those are very important things to do because you can get really consumed in YouTube and how to do things like a YouTuber when most of the time doing makeup like a YouTuber is really not practical for a subscriber or for like the everyday lady or man on the street just trying to like live their best life and not really be a makeup artist kind of a thing. So today I wanted to give you something that is really very, very important to understand because it forms the base of all of your makeup and if you get it wrong it shows and it just really really sucks today i wanted to cover the topic of undertones okay so i'm gonna break it down as much as i can and i want to keep the video short okay so let's get into this video so that i can debunk everything that you understand or don't understand about undertones and make it a less intimidating subject for when you go for your next foundation purchase So guys, I'm going to break up the whole subject into basically four things you need to keep in mind, okay? The first thing that's very important about understanding foundation is it has shades, okay? And when I talk about shades, what I mean is it goes from lightest to darkest. And what those bands kind of match or mimic is someone's skin tone okay essentially foundations will go from like a light then they'll go to a medium then they'll go to a deep and then they'll go to a dark skin tone and within that light medium deep deep dark dark or however many times a company wants to break up the different complexions there are undertones within those the cool thing about high-end foundations and this is why i always recommend buying high-end foundations on my channel is a lot of these high-end foundations are separated by shade as well as by undertone making it that much easier for you to match yourself and get a perfect match for your skin tone understanding the different complexions is important and seeing which band you fall into is a first step So now we're gonna move on to what undertones are and what surface tones are. I'm going to tackle surface tones first, and then I'm gonna move on to undertones because there's a bit more complexity with undertones, but still keeping it very, very basic and very simple for you to understand. So when it comes to surface tones, it's essentially the tone of your skin when you look at it. If you look at my skin, it looks golden, it looks yellowy to a certain degree, but this is not necessarily my undertone. If you get a tan, like for example, black people do tan as well, just as an FYI. Normally, if you see my skin tone without makeup, I have a very neutral undertone. So my undertone is very, I would say yes, golden, but more like yellow and, you know, I don't want to say on the pale side, but when I get a tan, I look more golden. So that's basically like kind of like a weather change it can change according to seasons meaning you get less sun or more sun depending on the season that will change the skin tone um and then what else there's also a daily change you can go for a run or go to the gym and then your skin you'll be flushed and your skin will appear red so that's essentially skin tone and matching your matching your foundation to your skin tone can get very dangerous in a sense that if you match it to something that's temporary, you might need lots of different foundations to kind of match the skin tone every time your skin changes. And the thing about matching your skin to your surface tone is you end up having makeup that looks like a mask. It kind of sits on your face, but doesn't really go into your face because you've got it absolutely wrong. You've got your undertone wrong and you also have your shade wrong because now your skin, your undertone has actually, or your skin tone has regulated and it's changed and your undertone has remained consistent you know so it's almost like mm, you didn't quite get it right and that's when you kind of see people who you can see okay this person is wearing makeup it starts here it ends here and i can literally just see it's like they put on a face and that's not what you want The smarter way to kind of match yourself is using an undertone. I'm going to make it very, very simple for you to understand so that you can get it right more than you would get it wrong. So undertones are split in three categories. You either have a warm undertone and examples of people with warm undertones, I will actually show you on the screen. You either have a, you either have a warm undertone, you have a cool undertone or you have a neutral undertone. When I do a three like this, it looks weird. I'll just do this. Or you have a cool undertone. 
So people usually have three undertones and when you go and you buy high-end foundation, for example, um, Estee Lauder, what you'll find is that on the bottle, first of all, they'll have a number. It can be, it, I think it goes from one to 12, one being the lightest you can ever get and 12 being the darkest foundation you can ever get. The next number that follows, let me actually get my bottle and show you guys. So for example, mine is, how do I show this for you to read it properly? Anyway, mine is 5N2, okay? So essentially what that means is 5 is between 1 and 12. Let's say it is a 12, for example. I'm basically like a medium or yeah, medium deep. I'm kind of in the middle. And then the next number that follows is the N. I'm sorry, I don't know what the 2 means at the end, so I'll just focus on the 5 and on the N. N basically means that I've got a foundation that has a neutral undertone. And what that means is it's got equal parts of warm and cool in it. Okay? Let's take a step back. So the first thing that I want you to do is find on your body a place where you can see your veins. Normally people can see their veins right over here. I actually have my lights on because it is the evening, so you probably are not going to see my veins. But I can tell you now that my veins look green right now. We know as human beings, nobody has green veins, okay? People have blue veins. So why do your veins on the surface of your skin appear green? Simple art. Not really a science, but more art. So we know we've got primary colors, right? We've got red, we've got blue, and we've got yellow. So when you look at your veins, why are you getting green? That's because of your undertone. Now, when you look at your veins, as I mentioned, everyone has blue veins, but if they are showing up green, it's because your undertone is yellow because when you mix blue and yellow you get green so that is essentially why your veins are looking green if you look at your veins and your veins are looking purple what that means is your undertone is red because when you mix red and you mix blue what do you get you get purple so that's essentially the best kind of overarching way to determine what your undertone is. If your veins are green, foundations that will be complementary to your undertone would have a yellow undertone or a yellow kind of cast to them or a golden cast to them. If you look at your veins and you see that they are purple, the most complementary foundation shades for you would have to have an undertone that is either red or pink. So guys, if I've shed some light, give me a thumbs up in the comments down below so I know that I'm on the right track and I've explained the story for you. If you're still a bit iffy about it and you're really, really not sure, give me this emoji, which kind of means I don't know without me smiling, and I will release a part two for you to kind of show you practically how the whole undertone thing plays out when you're trying to match makeup to your skin. Besides that, guys, I'm so glad that you tuned in. I hope that you found this valuable. A lot of people ask me about undertones and how to determine what the undertone is, how does it look, and whether they're on the right track with the makeup that they've chosen. So I hope that this video shed some light. And until next time, guys, ciao for now.